popular shopping center in Overland Park, and tonight we've uncovered the man who developed it has not only served time, he's banned from doing business in Missouri, but now he stands to benefit from millions in tax incentives across the state line. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock shows us why he's allowed to do business in Kansas. We found Schloop spent time in federal prison in the 1990s, and in 2007, he was sentenced on 14 felony tax evasion counts for paying undocumented workers cash on a Lake of the Ozarks project. It's one of Overland Park's major retail development projects. Corbin Park features stores like Shields and Von Mauer. As 41 Action News reported in October, Developer Michael Schloop stands to gain more than $100 million in tax incentives over the next 20 plus years. That money comes from a special sales tax you pay if you shop there. From our perspective, it's been a tremendous success. And, and uh, uh, I, I guess the best thing I can say about it is if we had it to do over again, we'd do it over again. Corbin Park caught our attention after a recent tragedy involving a law enforcement officer. Former Schloop employee Adrian Espinoza Flores is accused of driving drunk and killing Johnson County Master Deputy Brandon Collins in September. Federal authorities confirmed to us they can't find any documents to show Espinoza Flores is in the country legally. Missouri court records show Schloop has a history of hiring undocumented workers. In 2005, one worker was killed and others injured at Schloop's Lake of the Ozarks condo complex called Plaza Gardens. Missouri's attorney general found as many as 30 undocumented workers at the site at any one time. Court records show Schloop paid those workers cash to avoid paying Missouri taxes. A judge ordered Schloop to pay nearly $1 million in fines, penalties, and back taxes. As part of that case, Schloop was barred from doing business in Missouri again. But he can still do business in Kansas, where he's already collected more than $800,000 in sales tax reimbursements after one year of the Corbin Park deal. We were well aware of, of uh, his background. Were you troubled by it? It was a matter of concern. Overland Park City Councilman Terry Goodman raised that concern at a 2012 committee meeting. Goodman says after Schloop purchased Corbin Park out of bankruptcy court, the city council was faced with two choices. Either deny Schloop and wait for someone else to develop Corbin Park or move forward. We made the choice to allow the project to move ahead. The felony tax evasion case against Schloop is not his only past legal trouble. In 2009, the Mid-County Fire Protection District condemned the Plaza Gardens lakeside decks and balconies. Schloop settled a lawsuit in 2013 with a condo association. These pictures show what they look like now after an Iowa developer invested $5 million to redo the condos. They just recently went back on the market. And in 1993, federal court records show Schloop pled guilty to eight violations for conspiracy to commit loan application fraud. He spent 21 months in federal prison. With federal authorities now investigating Espinosa Flores, we asked Goodman what might happen if federal authorities find Schloop hired illegal immigrants to build Corbin Park, like the Lake of the Ozarks project. I'm sure the city would take appropriate action, but until uh, the federal authorities resolve the issue, I really can't comment on it. Shields President Bill Nelson tells us he was unaware of Schloop's past legal troubles and declined further comment. Schloop is also the developer for suburban Denver Shields. At Corbin Park, I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.